Hello YouTube, Jonathan Gamey here for Jonathan Android, and uh, welcome to my uh, division templates uh, and also a few tank templates uh, video. Once again, low effort because I don't have time to make these videos. And basically, I have a set of divisions that I use to win wars. Like, they aren't the best, probably not good for multiplayer. Well, pretty sure 30 with tanks are, but... Eh, it works. So, first division we're starting off with is Cheaper Hold. Uh, this is a cheap division just to hold the front line. This usually will get you covered. Add support artillery if you want. Che uh, another type of hold division you can have is the Classic 20 with Infantry. Uh, I, I did include support artillery with this, but this will also hold the line. I also suggest you always have anti-air in your divisions because planes are annoying to go against. Especially if your air force just gets completely obliterated for some reason. Now here's the balanced division. Slightly expensive due to artillery. But you can attack, you can defend, you got anti-air. I. I have armies of this uh, template because I'm usually playing a major so I can afford the artillery, but this has won me more wars than I could count. <laughs> yeah, because I don't remember how many games of Hoi 4 I played with this division. But if you're... Okay, let's just look. Uh, as Germany, I used it to cross into France to kill them. As France, I used them to hold off the Germans. As the UK, I used it to uh, win Africa, take out the Germans. As Germany, I just uh, battle planned the Soviet Union with this division. Overall, really good division. Uh, yeah, that's about it for this division. Going on to tanks. I have surprisingly won wars with this tank. Actually, I want it with this tank template, but if you are, if you made a medium tanks a bit late, or you didn't have enough mills on them, this division will have you covered for the most part. AI in uh, Start of the War will not be able to pierce this. Overall, really good. Also, flame tanks. I forgot they exist. Um, you can have those in your divisions. Like, I use medium flame tanks because they give you the most stat increases. Uh, armor, who cares? It's your infantry, it doesn't matter. And if you are a tank division, you already got armor. And actually this drops it because the flame tank I use doesn't provide much armor, but eh, it's fine. 20 with medium tank divisions, these have also won me many wars because the AI just, they can't pierce it. This 47.7 armor, yeah. I am just using, uh, I'll show the templates later, but I am just using 9 armor plus the, yeah, I'll just show it later. 9 armor plus armor skirts. 30 with tank divisions, these will actually decimate the AI, I know that. It's just, I don't make these because I've already won the war by then. And I have like, an army group of the uh, 20 with tank divisions, and I say more the better, especially against AI. Because what's wrong with uh, having 20 tanks plow through Stalingrad instead of uh, 10 or 15 of the 30 with's? Sure, these do more damage and are better in every way, but I just like to have more divisions to work with. This motorized division, I've seen some with just three, which works well from what I've seen, but this works too. Nice 30 with uh, punch. Replace uh, this with, yeah, I forgot to make the assault infantry. Replace this with uh, infantry, replace this with artillery, you got the assault, uh, you also got assault infantry, so these will push the front line very easily, cheaper than tanks, 
Some would say these are better than tanks. Eh, I don't know. Maybe. But if you don't have your combined arms guy yet, uh, might as well just use tanks. Now we're going to resistance garrisons. This is the expensive one. Uh, expensive with XP, not expensive with materials. Because this military police, sure it costs some support equipment. But it makes, all, makes you use less manpower and less guns overall. But you don't have like a doctrine's plus worth of XP. So you could just spend 5 XP and use cheap resistance. That's what pre pretty much everyone uses. It's all fine. Okay, so these are the tank divisions that have won me wars. Uh, sometimes auto cannon too. I don't really improve much on the base light tank that the Germans give. I don't really use light tanks all that much. So if I'm provided some, I will use them until I have enough medium tanks. Alright, kind of expensive for a light tank. But it does stats. If you uh, pair this with the medium tanks, they won't get pierced. I think. Well, the division won't get pierced, but eh. So I only did the basic medium tank. And this is a really good tank design, in my opinion. Sure, I'm using riveted, but it makes it cheaper. 9 engine, 9 armor. This makes it cost like one steel or something like that. Oh, and the tungsten is from the medium cannon. If you want to be really cheap, you can do auto cannon so it just costs steel. But medium cannons are just really nice. Uh, sloped armor, that's 10 XP. Also really boosts the armor on it. Armor skirts, more armor and breakthrough, and uh, additional machine guns for uh, attack and defense. It's a good tank overall. Uh, just upgrade it, you can tweak the numbers a bit. Like you want more speed with more cost, go ahead. You want more armor with more cost, go ahead. It's all good. Alright, this is the flame tank I use. Flamethrower, one-man turret, dozer blade. Might as well get your extra entrenchment while you're at it. Sure, you can go the feedback gaming route going a bajillion armor. Get all your armor techs, make it have 14 armor, make it cost way too much for its own good. But I see some people who will like uh, space marines. So... Pretty short video. I'm actually just going to quickly make the uh, assault infantry for you guys so you can see what it looks like. And that's assault infantry. Pretty nice actually. Does the trick. But for a uh, single player, this usually does it better. Well, not better. You just have more of these and it's cheaper. Alright, uh, short video today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, you know the deal. And this is Jonathan Gaming, signing out.